My name is Hiroto Oishi. I'm a 17-year-old high school student in Tokyo. My father recently got married again, and now I have a cute younger sister. However, I'm home. Oh, you went jogging again? Even when you're home, all you do is work out and study. You're so boring. Why don't you do something more trendy? She's my new sister, Emmy. She's a beauty, but she's the trendy, fashion-conscious type, and it's hard for us to get along. As usual, she just gave me a cold glance and went back to her room. All good as usual. Hopefully, our parents will come home soon. Our parents went off on a trip together, so it's only the two of us at home right now. I can take care of all the housework myself, so the only problem left is the communication between my new sister and I. I imagined it becoming more fun with our families coming together. On that weekend, something unexpected happened. What did you say? I told you tonight, two of my friends are coming over to stay. I'm just letting you know. Huh? huh? That's so sudden. How are we going to deal with dinner then? We'll be having okonomiyaki. You take care of yourself. I got it. Just don't be too loud at night. If I'm only cooking for myself, I'll just make something easy. I guess I'll be working out until they're finished in the kitchen. I was all pumped up when I got back to my room. I started to work out right away. Once I was finished, I came down to the living room to make a protein shake for myself. Hey, Emmy, don't you need to cut them smaller? I think cabbages usually cut up very thin for okonomiyaki. You think so? But this is the best I can do. I got worried about Emmy's hands. I forgot all about my protein shake. No problem, as long as it's edible. Ouch! Emmy, are you okay? I quickly rushed over to Emmy and put a plaster on her hand while she cut it. Oni-chan. Oh boy, let me take care of this. I changed spots with Emmy and started chopping up the ingredients. Wow, you're so good at it. Cooking every day must have improved you a lot. Once you get used to it, you'll be able to do this too, Emmy. Uh-huh. I sensed her staring at me from the side, so I stopped my hands and looked over at Emmy. Um, it's kind of hard to concentrate when you're looking at me like that. Oh, sorry, but that shirt you're wearing is too small for you. I mean, do you have to flex your muscles all the time like that? Emmy looked away while her face went red. Uh, sorry, I wasn't intending on flexing my muscles. I'll finish cutting these and I'll go back to my room. I didn't want Emmy to be upset, so I quickly finished preparing the ingredients and tried to leave the kitchen as fast as possible. But right then, one of her friends, Mika, grabbed my arm. Um, Hirato-san, right? You're so good at cooking. I'm impressed out how fast you could chop those up. Exactly. You're the type of guy who gets things done. Why don't you join us for dinner? Oh, um, I still got more workout to do. Sorry. I felt Emmy was glaring at me even more, so I escaped back to my room. Why was she so mad? Did I do something? I had so many questions, but I went back to my workout routine, and exactly as I did so, the lights went out. Oh my! Emmy! I used my flashlight in order to navigate myself through the pitch black corridor to the living room. Emmy! Are you okay? Uh, yes. But it became so dark, so suddenly, I'm scared. No need to worry. It's just the breakers have tripped. Stay where you are and don't move. Oh, okay. She really is afraid, isn't she? I hurried down the corridor and fixed the breakers. As I did so, the lights went back on again. Finally relieved, I went back to the living room. That's taken care of. Is everyone alright? Yes. Without you, Hiroto-san, we would have all been in a panic. True! I'm so happy you were here to help us. At first glance, you didn't seem to be the reliable type, but in fact, you really are. 
And you can also cook. I'd even like you to be my big brother. Mika smiled while she held my hand. I was wondering how I should respond. <laughs> no. Huh? Amy started to hug me, and she pulled me off Mika. I was shaken up when she started clinging onto me. Huh, Amy? What's got into you? But because Mika said she wanted you to be her big brother, I felt like I was going to lose you. What? But Amy, didn't you dislike me? I never disliked you. Really? I thought you were fed up of me because all I did was work out and study and couldn't follow any trendy topics. Th that's because I couldn't be honest to my heart. Actually, I was so happy when you became my big brother, but it was all so sudden. I simply didn't know how to communicate with a male sibling. I didn't know that. It's true. Not only do you cook good, but I can rely on you for anything. You make me feel relaxed and comfortable when you're at home. So please, be my big brother and nobody else's. She stopped hugging me and looked up into my eyes from down below. So all of that was a, a misunderstanding. I'm glad she doesn't hate me after all. Now that I felt relieved, I almost started crying. Hey, Oni-chan, you are forever my brother, right? Of course, we are already a family. I'm yours, and we are going to keep on being together. Thank you, Oni-chan. I love you. Emmy hugged me again. I put my hand around her, hugged her tight. Ever since that day, Emmy tries to put in effort at complimenting me, and she also teaches me about trendy things. On the weekend, we often go out together. Oni-chan, those clothes look perfect on you. Thank you. It's your taste. That's good. <laughs> you think so? Oh. By the way, I was thinking about losing some weight. So can we start working out together from now on? Yes, of course. I will come up with a good routine for you. Thank you, Nichan. You're the best. Once again, Emmy hugged me. Uh, Emmy, I'm happy that you love me, but I don't think you should be clinging on to me all the time. That's because I love you. Can't be changed. Anyway, let's go to that store over there. Hey, wait! Emmy pulled my hand and started to run. On that day, a friend who saw us thought that I had a girlfriend. Once I got back to school, I had to confront those rumors. Shinji, I love you. In front of everyone, so proudly. I am second year in high school. My name is Shinji Yamabuki. It is rare of me to say this myself, but I am complete opposite on vivacious handsome type. I have achieved a record of 99 people that have chosen me as in target for fake confessions. This is a story of how my childhood friend turned out to be the memorable 100th person. This school used to be all boys school. Now there is the 100 girls in the first grade. The other 200 is all boys. I am a dull guy who can neither good at study nor exercise. And I also have low face depression. As such, I was perfect target for girls. Punishment game of confession. Yamabuki has been confessed 99 times. That's more than Fujishima-kun, number one handsome guy in school. Oh, but those girls are being forced to confess to Yamabuki. It's not much of a record. Brother, I should call it a disgrace law. The boys make fun of the times I've been confessed, but they were confession without failing. From a point of view, it was no way and wish that they would stop with the goofy confessions. Hinata, you're here to make fake confession as well, right? Sorry, but I'm going to ask you to leave. I am sick of playing along with the stupid punishment games. You make the 100 girl. Well, I guess fake confessions will be over with you. Shinji, you saying you won't go out with me? Well, yeah, because you are confessing just for fun, right? You know my answer. You should go confess to some other boy for real and go out. 
Enjoy use. That'll be all. See you. It caused the commotion in the classroom with the girls giggling. The boys were throwing curious looks at me. After school in classroom, I was my usual self. I have decided to play cool and indifferent when made false confessions. Because if I were to be nervous, blushing, stumbling, or hesitant while being falsely confessed, they would make a spectacle of me. Indifference is the way to go about it, as if nothing happened. That would be the best way to discourage those who plans to make fun of me. Memorable 100 people, now there will be no more fake love confessions. Now I don't have to pull up with those confessions from girls anymore. Nice! I feel great! After school, I was feeling refreshed and planned to stop by the arcade in a giddy mood. But for some reason... Shinji, wait up! Hinata suddenly appeared in front of the school gates. Oh, watch it! Don't suddenly come out like that! We almost hit each other! We were this close from accidental kills. That was close. You know, we are this close from our lips touching, right? Yeah, that was too close. Might have broken our front teeth there. Oh, uh, that's what you're worried about? Anyway, where are you going, Shinji? Isn't your house in the other direction? That's none of your business. Shish, we're childhood friends since kindergarten. It's dare to make a fake confession to me. I'm actually mad, you know. W what? I just followed the girl group boss's order to do false confession. Because I have to get along, you know? I have to protect my position. I see. But I'm sick of it. Well, there were no more fake confessions, so I should be good. I'm going to the game center, so don't follow me. Oh, why? I want to go too. I want to do some rhythm games. No, I want to go alone. We just had a thing with fake confession. So keep your distance. You know, even if it was boss's orders, I wished you didn't follow through. Hey, wait! Hinata follows persistently. Short after we got involved with a group of delinquents at the game center. Sup, shorty. You got yourself a hot guy there. What is a dull guy like you doing with such a good woman? A group of three blonde-haired delinquents. They all had better build than me. You're not her girlfriend, are you? The delinquent who seems to be a boss asked me so, answered immediately. We're just childhood friends. But then Hinata started saying some weird things. I... I'm his girlfriend! Uh, the three delinquents and I answered in unison. All the stares at Hinata. I'm his girlfriend. You've got a problem with that? No, I'm saying I'm not her boyfriend though. A mother took Hinata's hand and ran away in a hurry. I was well familiar with the narrow alleys here, so it was easy to wind up a bunch of delinquents who looked unfamiliar with the area. We lost the delinquents midway. Breathing hard, we jumped inside a cafe owned by a man we are familiar with. Oh, Hinata-chan, congratulations! So you two are finally together? I give you shaved ice on the house. A master, what are you saying? We used to come here to eat the shaved ice since kids. I looked sideways and saw him not all blushing. I let go of my hand in a hurry. Okay. He not whispered and master got making shaved ice. Corner of the counter, that was our reserved position when we were kids. Thinking back on it, there was a seat of honor. And it was cocky for us to take the potion even as kids. Hinata-chan is strawberry flavor and shinji like blue Hawaii, right? Hinata answered yes. While I answered, You remember what well, master? It has been maybe a year since we last came to the store. No way. I forget your two's favorite flavor in just a year. Oh yeah. Master has somewhat of good memory. You were always good at remembering regular customers' orders. After a while, an enormous sized shaved ice came. It was almost 1.5 times the usual amount. The master was like, Large size service for the celebration of the birth of a new couple. 
<laughs> hey, master, what do you mean? Both of a couple. I have no intention of making her my lover. We just happened to hold hands together. I was falsely confessed by Hinata at today's lunch. So we are not lover or anything, just childhood friends. Uh, is that so? The master already an old man, rolled his eyes. You were holding hands happily. So I assumed you were already hugged, kissed, or done something. Even more, you know, kids these days does everything so fast. No, we just held hands. It was only to get away from the delinquents. Yes, master. We're getting to it. Kiss and hug and beyond that. Hey, you. What are you declaring? I have no such intentions. Hmm, I think it should make a great couple. No, master. What are you saying? I'm feeling irritated from being made fun of with a fake love confession today. Besides, even if it was an order from the boss, fake confession to your long-term childhood friend is something she should not have done. No, truth be told, that was an open confession. What did you say? Open confession! Ah, you mean open fake confession? You're wrong! I wasn't faking! Uh, what? Can't hear you well. Ah, master, I'm leaving! Hinata scuffed down the shaved ice angrily and led the cafe. I was left alone in the store, no other customers. In secret, Master told this. Gosh, Shinji, you always so thick. Hinata-chan has liked you since long time ago. Hinata-chan told me that she liked you back when you guys were elementary kids. But Hinata-chan didn't have the courage to confess, and time dragged on. And here I thought, you guys were finally together and wanted to celebrate. When you undergo 99 people's fake confessions, the weight of the world like, start to feel the flimsy word to you. You gave me master? Well, I guess. But why don't you just finish up shave ice and go after Hinata-chan? Yes, sir! I tried to pay for the two of us, but master refused to accept money. It's only today. Why don't you use the money to go on a date? Thank you. I put back the money. I offered back into my wallet. After that, by the time I left the cafe, Hinata was far off. And she was been approached by seemingly handsome men. I ran in a hurry. Hinata is a beauty. She used to tell me that she was troubled by guys hitting up on her. Oh and cute. Why don't we go somewhere to play? He was a fine man, incomparably more so than me. Yeah, I think he has me totally beat. Anyway, I put my hands on Hinata's shoulders and told him off. Oh, brother, please don't go talking lightly to my girlfriend. Hinata was all blushed in the face. Then she hugged me tight and kissed me. The fine man was like, What the hell? Do the somewhere brief. And left. Then Hinata, Continued on the same. Now that we've kissed and hugged, the next step would be, you know, to make out tonight. You'd be surprised with my thighs. I have great proportions, you know. S stupid! Don't lift up your skirt here. Doing something like that made me just time. All blush in the face. I'm home. Huh? What are you doing here? Anyway, who's this? Oh, this is my best friend in the university, Shizuku. Hello. Uh, hello. She's really pretty. This was how I met Shizuku Sasaki. Shizuku, make yourself at home. I'll go serve us some tea. Okay. Oh, um, Kaori, where do you think you're going? I frantically follow my sister into the kitchen. I mean, why did you bring Shizuku-san here? I live here too, you know. Huh? You were busy then, so you weren't there. But that's what happened at the last family meeting. I mean, it's wasteful for us to live separately, right? So that's why you were made to live in this apartment. 
Didn't you find it weird that there were too many rooms for you to live here alone? Now that I mention it, so Dad rented this place for me with that in mind from the start? That's right. So I'll be moving in with my stuff by tomorrow. After dropping a huge bombshell, Kaori was about to leave the kitchen with her mugs as I followed her out. And there, I saw Shizuku-san looking at us, looking worried. Um, sorry if I'm intruding. I only came because Cody said that it would be okay. No, you didn't do anything wrong, Shizuku-san. Yes, it's Yota's fault for not attending the family meeting because he said that he was busy studying. <laughs> I guess so. But you must be such a nice guy for not complaining when she told you out of nowhere that she was going to move in with you. D do you think so? Thank you. I saw Shizuku-san smile softly, and I felt myself blush. The next day, as previously announced, my sister moved in and started our lives together under one roof. Well, we used to live together back home, so it's no big deal. If anything, now we can split the chores too, so that was a plus. And... I'm home. Hello. I hope you don't mind me coming over again. No, of course not. Shizuku-san that's close to my sister comes over a lot now too. It made me happy to see Shizuku-san that is pretty and has a great personality. One afternoon, when I got home, my sister and Shizuku-san were studying on the living room. Oh, oh it's, it's almost, almost exam, exam week. Oh, I don't get this one. Did you, Shizuku? No, I was stuck on the same one. This one's tricky. Which one? Oh, this one. You go like this. I write out the formula and show them how to solve it. Then two of them clapped their hands together as they finally understood it. Wow, you're so smart, Yota. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he's the top of his class. Top of the class? Wow. I just got lucky. I do really think it was just coincidence. But it made me happy to see Shizuku-san look at me with eyes of admiration. Since then, I started message Shizuku-san directly too, and we got closer as I helped her study. One day. Uh, please, get out of my way. Like I said, I'll move if you'll go out with me. What? Shizuku-san. As I was walking out from my class into the hallway, Shizuku-san was being harassed by a bad-looking guy. Others around them were pretending not to look, as they were probably afraid of the guy. I need, I need to, to help. help, I thought, and I went and got in between him and Shizuku-san. Please stop right there. Can't you see that she doesn't like this? Huh? Oh, aren't you Rota Takamatsu? You get on my nerves. Just because you're top of the class, you think you're some kind of hero? Look out! I hear Shizuku-san screaming behind me as I catch the first thrown at me. What? You better stop now. Aren't you the one who will be in trouble if word gets out? I already contacted the police, and soon enough, the professors will be here too. Damn it! The guy was threatened by my lie and had run away. Phew. Shizuku-san, are you alright? Yes, thank you. You were so cool, Ryota. Huh? N not really. It's true. Even though I was in trouble, no one helped me. Meanwhile, you came straight away. You were tough and wonderful. <laughs> you think so? Thank you. I said as my face turned red, and Shizuku-san smiled at me. So that's what happened. And Ryota was so cool. Wow, I guess Jota has more guts than I thought. Yeah, so that's how I fell in love with him. But would you be offended if I became your sister-in-law? No way! I'll be more than happy. Jota is smart but is kind of shy, so he's never had a girlfriend. And I've kind of been worried about him. I would be relieved if it's you he's dating, so go right ahead. Thank you, Cody. I'll try my best. Oh, it's a message from Shizuku-san. Since the day I saved her from that guy, it seems that Shizuku-san trusts me even more now. I can't help but smile at my phone seeing more frequent messages coming in from Shizuku-san.
Oh, Shizuku-san's already on her way home. Maybe I can catch up with her. I put my phone away and head out of school. It, it suddenly, suddenly became, became so, so cloudy. cloudy. It's not out of the ordinary for it to start pouring out of nowhere. It usually is just passing rain. But you always need to keep a small umbrella on hand. I thought, when as I suspected, it started to rain. My umbrella. I rushed to open my umbrella and start to run again. I wonder if Shizuku-san has an umbrella with her. I'm worried she might be caught up in this rain. I really want to catch up to her. Oh, there she is. Oh no. Shizuku-san was running, getting wet in the rain. I called out to her. Shizuku-san. Ryota. Whoa, you got pretty wet out there. I let her in my umbrella and look away. Shizuku-san was running in the rain without an umbrella, so her clothes were transparent. And you could see her underwear through them. Anyway, you'll catch a cold like that, so come stop by our place. Thank you, that would be helpful. I felt my pulse getting faster, but I managed to escort her to my place. We arrived home, and I had her go take a shower. Phew. Seeing Shizuku sound like that was not good for my heart. It's still beating so fast. I pour some hot tea and wait for Shizuku san to finish her shower. I mean, why is Kaori out working at a time like this? I had no choice, so I borrowed a dress I chose randomly from my sister's room, and I left it by the bathroom. I hope it fits okay. Thank you, Ryota. No problem. I look back, and Shizuku san is standing there wearing my sister's dress. Shizuku-san tends to dress more modestly, whereas my sister likes to dress boldly. So this dress ended up being quite short. Her bare legs, it's too close. Because of its length, her legs were showing maybe a bit too much. I felt my heart racing again. S sorry about that, my sister only has bold looking outfits. Um, the clothes you are wearing are in the dryer, so if you could manage until then. Okay. Thanks for everything. I'll tell Cody myself about the clothes. Okay, thanks. Oh, please sit down and have some tea. Thanks. I offer her some tea, and Shizuku-san sits down flat on the floor with her knee bent to either side. Ah, I can, I can see, see even more, more of her, her legs, legs now. now. My face is burning. As I was trying to collect myself, Shizuku-san looked at my face and laughed a little. <laughs> Your reaction is always so cute, Ryota. Huh? I'm... no, I was just... You were getting excited over my bare legs, weren't you? Um... <laughs> so I was right. She said laughing, but shows no signs of hiding her legs. So, um, aren't you embarrassed in that outfit? Well, you're the only one here, and I'm fine with you seeing me like this. Did you want to touch too? But please don't tease me like that. I'm home. I was freaking out over Shizuku-san's way too much tease when my sister came home at the best timing. Welcome back, Kaori. Oh, what do you have on here? Hey, Dota, you better not have harassed Shizuku. Of course not. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded. L like I said, please stop teasing me. I don't think my heart can take anymore. I got up and hid in my room. I hear them chatting and having fun on the other side of the door. Sorry, he's so sensitive. No, I've liked him regardless. I could feel like I'm dating in high school again or something. What, what are, are they, they talking, talking about? about? I can't tell how Shizuku-san is feeling. As I was feeling confused, I was in even deeper trouble. Shizuku-san was going to sleep over tonight, but Kaori was called out by her boyfriend, and I was left alone with Shizuku-san. I'm here, here alone, alone with Shizuku-san. Shizuku-san is sleeping in the other room. Thinking about Shizuku-san sleeping just beyond this wall made me wide awake. It was then that Shizuku-san knocked on my door and peered in. Sh Shizuku-san? What's wrong? Um, I got kind of lonely. We're here together, so can we spend some time together? She said as she slid into my bed. W wait, Shizuku-san. I panicked as Shizuku-san looked into my face as she lay down next to me. I was taken aback when Shizuku-san put on a serious look on her face. 
I'm going to be straightforward here. Am I not enough to be your girlfriend? What? What are you saying? I like you, Ryota. I like you, so I don't mind if you do anything to me. Huh? How do you feel about me, Ryota? Well, I really don't know about these things. I think that you are really pretty, but I don't know if what I'm feeling is love. Hmm, so you're that inexperienced. But that still means that I have a chance, right? Okay then, I'm going to make you like me, so be prepared. Shizuku-san jumped on top of me and whispered so in my ear. Kenji, meet me at the amusement park at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Don't be late. Huh? What? My not-so-close friend Ryuji Tandano had just come up to my desk and said that to me, Kenji Ikeda. What? Why do I have to go to the amusement park of all places? You're just a nerd. You're probably just going to be playing video games or something all weekend, right? I have plans to go out with some girls from another school, but I don't have enough people. You know... I'm not good around girls, right? Please. Everyone else is busy going on dates and whatnot. I suppose. Thanks. Ryuji smirked and walked away. I watched him leave and sighed to myself. The part about no one else being available is probably a lie. He just wants to look better in comparison to me. A nerd. I'm calling him my friend, but seeing he only asks me out when it's convenient to him. There's probably a catch again, this time as well. And after Ryuji left, Kana Kurai came up to me, looking troubled. Uh, are you going to the amusement park too, Ikada-kun? Huh? Are you going too, Kurai-san? Yeah, at first Tadano-kun asked Ayuri out alone, but Ayuri said she doesn't want to go alone, so she asked me to tag along, and... I see. Thanks to Kurai-san. Ryuji's intentions come to light, and I sigh again. Ayuri Shiroto is Kurai-san's friend, and I've heard rumors that Ryuji is trying to get with Ayuri. And Kurai-san and I talk about books that we like, so he probably wants me to keep her occupied. You have it pretty rough too, Kurai-san. But it's not Ayuri's fault, besides if you're coming too, Ikeda-kun. Huh? N nothing Oh, the teacher's here. I'll see you later. Yep, it was all a bit sudden, but I guess it could be fun if it's with Kurai-san, since I talked to her all the time. This made me feel a lot better. In the day of the double date. Well, you're cute as always, Ayuri-chan. Really? You probably just think that because I'm usually in my school uniform. Oh, you must be Ikeda-kun. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Shiroto-san. It's refreshing to see you in something other than the school uniform as well as Kurai-san. Th thanks Shiroto-san is dressed more edgy and bold, where Arias Kurai-san is wearing a modest dress. They both suited their own style, so it looked good on them. As we greeted each other, Ryuji came budding in between me and Shiroto-san and started talking. Alright, let's go have fun. I want to ride the roller coaster. Uh, I want to take occasional breaks. So we started off on enjoying the amusement park and rode lots of rides. Kenji, don't be such a scary cat. <laughs> Do you not like roller coasters, Ikeda-kun? You were screaming really loud. It's not nice to laugh so much, Ayuri. <laughs> You're laughing too, Kurai-san. You have to be unwavering like me, right, Ayuri-chan? Well, I guess so. Ryuji makes a move on Shiroto-san, and she looks over at me with an awkward smile as she nods politely. I haven't been to an amusement park since I was little, but I blush remembering that I cried on the roller coaster then as well. Let's go on those go-karts next. I want to ride the teacups. Don't tell me you want to ride the carousel at this age now, do you? Um... I was listening to Shiroto-san and Kurai-san chatting happily. When Ryuji came up and whispered in my ear, <laughs> That was pretty lame of you. I'm glad I brought you along, since you make me look so much better in comparison. I knew it. Why do you care? If anything, you should be thanking me if you get closer with that nerdy girl. 
Anyway, we're heading to the haunted house after lunch. You're so predictable. I'm going to show off my manliness and later ask her out on the Ferris wheel. Ah, <sighs> good luck. I sigh and I watch as Ryuji goes to hang with Shiroto-san again. After lunch, Ryuji announces that we're going to the haunted house as planned. Haunted house? Uh, you better not be thinking of doing something silly in there. Of course not, Ayuri-chan. The one here is known to be pretty scary, you know? Hmm. Shiroto-san's expression changes, followed by Kurai-san grabbing onto my sleeve and saying to me, uh, Are you good with these things, Ikeda-kun? Not so much, I guess. Oh, are you scared, Ayuri-chan? No way. Really? Well, it's only natural for the guy to protect the girls. So if you're not scared, let's get going, Ayuri-chan. <laughs> fine Pretty much dared to go in, Shiroto-san heads in the haunted house with Ryuji. As Ryuji looked back at me and winked, I noticed that it said Super Scary House at the entrance. Sh should we get going too? Hmm. I suppose. I walk into the haunted house with Kyuri-san still on my sleeve, when the female staff member whispered me good luck. It, it looks like a real abandoned building. Yeah, this haunted house was hospital theme, and all we could hear was our footsteps on the hard floor. It was dimly lit, and every once in a while a monster popped out from a room with a green light to scare us. Ah! Whoa! I think we're giving them the template response to the jump scares. It was a very scary haunted house after all, so the makeup was realistic, and it felt like there were real ghosts, monsters, and zombies. Ugh. I... It's fine. Ah! Ah! Kana was weak in the knees and was totally attached to my sleeve. She was being pulled away by a zombie actor, and I'm pulling her back. I don't want to do this anymore. Even as a guy, I was pretty scared, so I thought it was time for us to give up as I was looking for the escape door. Whoa! Ah! Hey! You just touched my breasts in the most of this. Don't run away. I heard Ryuji and Shiroto-san screaming. Was that Ayuri? Yeah, they sound close. Let's keep going. After hearing the screams of someone I know, I gather up my courage and head back on the trail. I wanted to run, but it wasn't safe in the dark, and I couldn't leave kyuri san behind. Shiroto-san! Ayuri! Kana, Ikeda-kun, wow, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, are you guys friends? Her partner just ran out of the escape door. Did you want to get out too, miss? Seeing Shiroto-san weak on the floor, let out a sigh of relief upon seeing us. The monster actor came up to us looking worried. No, I'll keep going with these two. Wha- what I'm not one to say this, but be careful. It was fun watching you look scared. Shiroto-san came crawling towards us, so I quickly help her up. The monster actor smiles awkwardly and goes back to his position. Then she grabbed onto my left arm and starts pouting. His acting was very good, so I was surprised. I, I tried to grab a hold of Tadano when that jerk ran away. <laughs> I guess he was just that scared. I suppose. Anyway, you look fine, Kana. I yeah, Ikeda-kun is really brave, so I am scared, but I feel a lot better holding him. Hmm, so even though you were screaming on the roller coaster earlier, you do have some guts. And you're pretty tall, too. I don't think that has anything to do with this. Haha! <laughs> anyway, it looks like we're okay now. So, it'd be great if you two could both let me go. Sure, sure. Let's get this over with and give Tadano what he deserves. Shiroto-san lets go of me when Kurai-san and I look at each other and follow her out. I thought that it would be less scary with three of us now, but... Ah! It's coming! Eek! I'll look out in the back, so don't worry! No way! I won't forgive you if you leave. The real show had just begun. Hands from walls and zombies nurses chasing us had emerged. The first half was quite a scare, while the latter half was a panic scare. Kurai-san and Shiroto-san were really screaming now. And I can hear screaming from people coming in after us. <sighs> Meanwhile, I was quite calm. 
To be honest, it was because I had something troubling me. More than it was scaring me. Ah! Something just grabbed my arm. Eek! There's something cold in my neck. Every time something happens, Kurai-san and Shiroto-san grab me from both sides. And something soft is pushed up against my arm. They smile nice too. And I was overwhelmed by them. More than the fear. Phew, it's, it's finally over, right? Mm, it was so scary. Are you okay, Kurai-san? <laughs> I, I, I was pretty scared too. You fell to the floor, right? Are you okay as well? Well, I might not be okay. Oh, you guys made it out? Why didn't you let me know? I was waiting. Oh. As Shiroto-san was about to grab my arm, I heard Ryuji's voice. So Ryuji, I heard you gave up halfway in. Oh, um, yeah, my stomach started to hurt. Y you, you went all the way to the end. Yep. We got this too. Kurai-san smiled as she held up her completion certificate, and Ryuji looked at it with a strained look. Uh, let's go to the next ride. No, I want to go home already. You still haven't even apologized for leaving me alone back there. Th that was because of my stomach ache. Hey, what's a trip to the amusement park without getting on that? The Ferris wheel? Yeah. Kurai-san said when Shiroto-san looked like she was thinking about something, and then she looked like she smirked. Sure, that's the last one, and then I'm leaving. Sure! Ryuji let out a happy voice, and we all headed for the ferris wheel. When out of turn, rolled around, Shiroto-san made her move. Alright, as we are getting on together. Huh? What? Huh. Hey, Ayuri-chan. Shiroto-san abandoned Ryuji and jumped onto the gondola with Kurai-san and me. <laughs> Look at Tadana, good riddance. <laughs> it's very like you, Ayuri. Kurai-san smiles, but the next moment she freezes in place. Hey, Gedakun. No, Kenji. Do you want to go out with me? Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Hey, Ayuri, are you serious? Yep, in the haunted house, you were walking while looking out for both of us. It was pretty scary. I was pretty scared, but seeing you like that made me fall for you. Shiroto-san blushed, so she seems pretty serious. As she looked at me, waiting for a response, Kurai-san got up and sat down next to me. N no, you can't. I, I like Ikeda Kenji too. Of course, I know, especially after seeing how you reacted in the haunted house. Now, Kenji, two very cute girls are asking you out. Which one are you going to choose? Kenji-kun? What? Why is this happening? <laughs> Even Kurai-san, who is usually very shy, is pouting and inching towards me. Shiroto-san was coming closer with a mysterious smile on her face. It's me, right? It's me that you always talk with, right? Will I make it down to the ground safely? I thought to myself as I listened to these two bicker. <laughs>